So good morning to everyone and welcome to this session on uh, APPG 2013. <clears throat> some of you were happy, some of you were sad, some of you were weeping, some of you were bleeding. That's called as APPG entrance. If you look at the entire paper, there are about uh, 130 questions, very easily surmountable and surpassable. After that, every mark is like a no confidence motion in the assembly. Some answers will ditch you. Some you thought right, but somebody will pluck out a book and say that, you are wrong. So that is the whole fun called as entrance exam. So if you have done the silliest mistakes in the world, don't regret. And uh, you have done surprisingly correct, which you never thought, they will definitely add up to those negative marks of, uh, I mean losing marks of uh, uh, <clears throat> the scores which you have lost. So, it had been a very hectic exercise uh, to discover what is the truth because the God lies in truth. So, we have to catch up that God and then present you today. So, that had been a slightly a challenging job, but it is the most enjoyable job we all uh, passionately uh, take part in. So let's make the start. We invite all of our online students from Guntur, Hyderabad, Vijaywada and etc, uh, etc. Et now let's make the start. Quickly shower your answers doctor. Dysphonia plica ventricularis. From where is the voice coming from? Quick loud answer. It is typically coming from the false vocal cords, which are uh, the ventricular folds from where it is typically coming from. Now, the lupus of the larynx has ditched uh, some of the greatest uh, barriers of exam. I straight called one of our ENT surgeons. <clears throat> is the voice clear? Can you slightly raise the voice? Slightly. <clears throat> yeah. So, I asked one ENT surgeon who is very busy in his OPD. Was lupus of larynx involved? Antinod posture. Quickly, but off. His reflex answer was, uh, tell me, what is your reflex answer? Huh? Anterior. How many tried uh, luck with the posterior? Purely luck, let me tell you, if it is tuberculosis, it would have been uh, a common answer, everyone knows. Suddenly, lupus and larynx, who will guess? It's purely luck. So, that's the reason. If you have done this question wrong, don't regret. Don't worry. You won't, uh, you won't lose the seat if you have done this wrong. So, it is the anterior part. So, you know very well. Syphilis, tuberculosis, lupus. How do they involve the larynx is one of the favorite questions of the examiner. So lupus affects the anterior part of the larynx. It starts at the epiglottis and spreads posteriorly to involve the airy epiglottic folds is what need to be basically remembered. Uh, this is the cheapest question. Thumb sign, epiglottitis. There are no surprises. Then, uh, <clears throat> Harpangina, another very cheap question. Everybody will answer. Kogzeki is the one which is responsible for Harpangina. Where do we have recruitment phenomena? Chalo, this is another question where we have to wake up from sleep. It is? It is uh, Minias. Very good. 
if uh, there were to be a caustic neuroma, we would uh, that would have been uh, that is the most common thing we expect whenever we say recruitment phenomena. But okay, many years is uh, e relatively a guessable answer. That's good. <clears throat> now, gateway of tears. This is a very very commonly asked question. Uh, there is no big deal. Everybody will answer Killian's Dyson's. If anybody tried la rat case pouch, definitely uh, they have purely made a guess. So it is a Killian's Dyson, which is a triangular gap, typically along the thyropharyngeus, and it transfers fibers of the cricopharyngeus. And uh, it is called the gateway of the TH because if you do esophagoscopy, it is the most common location where you are uh, capable of puncturing the esophagus and injuring the esophagus. Cold air caloric test, sick, sick question, sickest question. So, the others are all tracheostomy tubes. One is the one which you use for cold air caloric. Okay, what is your guess? If you have done this wrong, don't regret. Yes. Montgomery was one uh, temptation, very good. Then who else? Adolf Hitler. Uh, uh, yeah, Montgomery was a very famous German uh, general, right? Uh, yes. Any other answers you tried? Come, come, come up with uh, some wrong answers. We will celebrate. Array, the whole night we are awake uh, only to celebrate your wrong answers. No, no, we should not say that because this is the actual exam. <coughs> Uh, yeah. So who will who will correctly answer? Question number seven. Let me check what our online students are saying. <clears throat> so it is the Dundas Grant's tube is the one which need to be basically remembered. So fistula test, signalization. Hennibert sign, Kenol Paris, Fitz, Gerold, Halpix, Maneuver, and Dundas Grand Cold Air Test. They are all the clinical tests for the vestibular functions, is what need to be remembered. So, this is the fullest by wall trick you asked me. Now, now comes an interesting question. Don't trust my answer. Don't trust my answer. Uh, Early laryngeal cancer, radiotherapy, beautiful, radiotherapy, theoretically we look, we think that the voice sparing hemilaryngectomy is the one which is preferable, but in this it is not given whether only one vocal cord got involved or how many vocal cords got involved, what is given is only it is neither uh, impairing the cord mobility nor invaded the cartilage or cervical nodes only to tell that it is an early laryngeal cancer. If you look at any book it will say early laryngeal cancer try to do voice sparing laryngeal surgery which would be hemilaryngectomy. Right? But you ask uh, a ENT surgeon straight his answer will be radiotherapy. I think radiotherapy is much more an appropriate answer I feel. Um, uh, so, for those people who answered hemilaryngectomy, almost reached closer to the no confidence motion. So, the, uh, narrowly missed it. Okay. Try point. Huh? What is the final answer we wanted to conclude? I feel radiotherapy is more appropriate answer. Logically speaking. Yeah, yeah. Giving radiotherapy for an early laryngeal cancer is a practice. Especially so when it is, see, it is not impairing cord mobility, vocal cord mobility, not invading cartilage, not invading cervical nodes. Ideally speaking, actually the correct thing should be stripping. Is a way we remove, pluck out that, uh, it's more or less like a carcinoma in an in-situ kind of a stage, too early a stage. But that being not given, Hemilaryngectomy relatively sacrifices uh, uh, half the larynx for uh, a very early laryngeal cancer which is not causing any damage. 
Hence, radiotherapy is a preferable one. That's what uh, the otolaryngologists in practice are saying. So, our online students, Dr. Raj also proposes radiotherapy. That's good. <clears throat> oh, very good. We have students from Punjab and uh, other parts of the India who are uh, who have not taken APPG but uh, actually punching their answers extempore. Very good. Tripod fracture. Anybody innocently answered maxilla? Can raise a hand. Huh? No. Oh, this is a very standard question. No big deal. It is the zygoma which is typically associated. <clears throat> The voice in this is coming low. You want to change the settings in this? <clears throat> voice uh, is coming low for the online uh, friends. Yeah. Okay, I hope that will help you change it. Yeah. <clears throat> Still, if the voice is not very clear, please let me know. Yeah. Gelly's test. Ah, that's been question. All of you must have smashed it as otosclerosis without uh, uh, trying out here and there. That's good. Now, so out of these 10 questions in ENT, doctor, let us see. How many probably our uh, uh, classmates, I mean uh, lesser mortals might have answered. Till now how many questions we can say are uh, relatively tough to answer? Early laryngeal cancer is a uh, question that might have ditched a good number of our classmates. Coldale calorie test is slightly a question on the hot pan. And uh, all the remaining questions, I believe, uh, ah, lupus is another mortality blower. Uh, so, 7 out of 10 is reasonable in ENT, okay? So, no problem. So, I hope even our online students, very good. Raj saying, I got 8 out of 10. Very good, very good. I am happy to know that. Because uh, uh, we used to fake a lot. Because we used to, after exam is over, no, already our classmates used to be on a suicidal note. On the top of it, we used to say, 190 minimum month there, kisi ko bhi aega. Ultimately, when real scores come, your rank will be 190. I'm sorry, us din marks bola, kya? My rank aaj, uh, yeah, has come 290. You will tell. Eh? So, no problem. But anyway, we believe Raj is the one who generally participates very actively in our regular online classes. Uh, answering 8 out of 10, I can trust. Now, aqueous flare in iridocyclitis is classical of that protein, which is the part of it. Anybody by chance thought it as uh, RBCs or proteins, thinking of from um, mutton cat, keratic precipitates or somewhere the brain uh, wavering into. No, no? Okay. 